Hey guys, I hope that all of you are doing great. Well, this video I'm going to talk about how do you stop uh, losing money within the crypto market. In fact, Warren Buffett recommends two rules of investing. Rule number one, don't lose money. Rule number two, don't forget the rule number one. Now, this is very, very important and I happen to realize with time, I'll be honest. And that is the reason like I wanted to convey to my audience like within the crypto market, what is the secret sauce of actually not losing the money? So make sure you watch the video completely till the end. This is really going to be helpful for all of you guys. I'm going to show you some of the indicators which we can keep in mind. And that's when we will avoid being in a downtrend. And if you just avoid being in a downtrend, we can make it tremendous amount of money. Why? Because the downtrend actually is the killer of the profit, the capital and everything. Some of the downtrends are like 80%, 90% down. So I'll show you like when can we identify, how can we identify beforehand when the downtrend is about to happen. So make sure guys, you, you subscribe to our channel if you have not already. Uh, the goal of this channel is to provide financial freedom to all of our subscribers. So what I'll suggest to you is just simply this tradingview.com what i've done i've left a link down below in the video description you use that particular link and uh, you get actually a 30-day free trial of this particular account why i'm saying like otherwise you can completely freely check the entire website and check all the charts but this is so good and it is going to save us so much of the money if we actually utilize it to our advantage i would like you to sign up for free and other, after 30 day free trial it's 14 dollar per month but if you just sign up for free try it for 30 days if you like it you can continue but otherwise you can decide for whatever that you want 30 days completely free trial link is down below in the video description so how does it work all you have to do is just go to bitcoin chart now the reason i'm opening the bitcoin chart and the only thing that we need to identify is the bitcoin downtrend if you are able to identify the bitcoin downtrend the entire crypto market is related with the bitcoin the bitcoin pumps up the entire crypto market all the all the coins start pump, pumping up the micro caps the low cap coins everything starts pumping up the bitcoin starts to fall down everything starts to fall apart like crazy bitcoin goes 10 percent like some of the old coins goes 30 percent 40 percent down so this is what we need to understand so i'm going to show you one of the techniques one of the tricks that is going to ensure that that is going to help you this is the 30 minute chart like i've just opened the btc usdt i have already signed up onto my trading view account and this is a 30 minute chart this is a one hour chart this is a one day chart one week chart like overall if i just open the one week chart i'll give you the macro trend the bigger trend the bigger picture let's say we all rode up high at this point like this mania phase right now at this point of time everyone is like okay now at this point of time i mean there is no going down the bull run has come everyone has made so much of the money there's no going going down but some of the people actually lost all the profits by being in the altcoins and riding this downtrend but then again like upward put thing came and then again riding all the way downwards downtrend really made the things messy so some of the indicators like i'll consistently follow the other indicators in my future videos as well so ensure you subscribe to our channel the fibonacci extension series now what is this fibonacci extension surprisingly this is one of the great tools like this is found the pattern in the universe god, god almighty is beauty, beauty that everything rhymes in a similar fashion so fibonacci series also rhymes within the charts of the bitcoin so this is a macro level chart this actually determines the level of resistance that we have so how do we determine at any point of time let's say at this point of time you reached at this point of height right now from here what is going to happen so you need to draw i mean i just clicked onto this fibonacci from the top to the bottom most what is the bottom most from march 2020 i have just touched this particular line right so this is the bottom most this is the top most i have touched now this is the surprising fact fact like from here till here at the weekly or the macro level every line represents the support and the resistance what is support and the resistance that means if the price starts to fall i mean rise up over here i mean it will find a lot of resistance like a lot of sell pressure and that's when like price will come down and then it'll have to like it'll find a, it'll have the tough time to jump over similarly over here it'll have the tough time to jump over similarly over here over here 
and the last point of resistance is this one and similarly even in the downtrend like uh, i mean over here as well like as you can see the resistance is there and that's when like the down downward moment downward slope happens and that's when the riding upward similarly when you're going downwards it doesn't just go right away it, it comes up why because the support has been formed and then it revolves around and further falls down and then revolves around further falls down the next level of support is this one as you can see it just touched exactly 27,000, 26,900. And then the next level of support is 18,000. So if it falls below this, we are saying like slowly and steadily we can fall approximately 20 to 18,000. So one of the things that we need to understand, let's say we are at this point of time. So what is the ideal thing that the Bitcoin is supposed to do in order to be riding upwards? Like how can we know whether we are riding upwards, we are going downwards? The best way to know is if you are actually trying to push through this particular boundary and then falling back like at this point of time it, it, it went well it tried to push through the boundary it, it, it fell back then what should it should have done it should have again tried and then come back right it should have again tried and then eventually broken the race and that's when we know that the big upward trend is going to continue we can still hold the coins we want to see the upward moment momentum but instead of that what it did it went back below and then okay one time it got rejected when went back below but the second time again it went back that means it is now trying to break through the support so when it is trying to break through the support you will get a dead cat bounce and why because the support is there just the way resistance is there you get you get the rejection similarly the support is there you get the dead cat bounce you got the dead cat bounce but then that means now this is the point of selling you just got the dead cat bounce but you are eventually going to fall down and it is safer to do that like there is a very high probability of going downwards so at this point of time we should have sold our cryptocurrency and just imagine if we would have sold our cryptocurrency how much profit we would have like made i mean all this downtrend like 80 percent down 70 percent down happened to the altcoins and then again like 100 several hundred percent down we can only make keep on making money if we understand this particular pattern so at this point of time we should have sold now, what is the other side of the story that could have happened? Maybe that this was just a false fake out and we are further going up. Now, if we would have been further going up, probably if it would have the next point of resistance, we should have been noticing if it touched again, like if it formed the higher high, like it crossed all this distance and again tries to touch the respective resi uh, resistance. That's when we should have known, okay, again, it is trying to break the resistance. We could have bought back in at the, at, the, at the further next rejection but here we have formed the lower low and here they have formed the lower low here we have formed the lower low this is the sign of getting out so this is how fibonacci extension can really be helpful of knowing when the downtrend is about to happen so at this point of time we should have got down and then just waited for the upward momentum like it just went into the abyss over and over and over and that's when when this happened like how do we identify the uptrend it went through this particular this thing i mean the, uh, the resistance and then the next level of resistance it got rejected now at this point of time if if we should have noted if it is going further down below to to, to this particular support that's when we should have been still doubted but it went like it tested the resistance two times the moment it tests the resistance two times that's when we know we are like con consecutively without coming back we are in a good way going upward that's when the buying signal should have been there for us we should have bought back again and just imagine all the downtrend all this mess we would have avoided and then rode back higher and higher and then yes there was further downfall but this was the rejection from here again upward and upward and then similarly at this point of time we should have been looking for the next level of resistance but instead of that it just went down maybe this was a rejection it should have tested again but it went again down it went again down at this point of time it should have been a warning sign for all of us like it is going downwards so rather than riding the downtrend you should have sold and then just waited for the next uptrend confirmation so this is just one of the ways guys i would not want to confuse you with more ways like there are a lot of more indicators like there is the rsi indicator magd indicator i'm going to show you everything is over here so again if you have not subscribed to our channel make sure you do subscribe this channel will be everything about how to grow your finances. We'll give you the best of the tips, best of the coins that is going to help you ahead in the cryptocurrency market. So the next chapter probably will be covering the RSI, how do we use it at the different different levels. So this is at the weekly level. 
you can even check it at the daily level for the daily level like four hourly level also some people check even the 30 minutes level at the daily level again you'll need to draw the fibonacci extension from the highest point to the lowest point and then you need to see what is happening with the uptrend or downtrend we don't want to ride the downtrend but we definitely want to ride that again i hope you found the video helpful if you did please smash the like button comment down below for the best takeaway from this video and subscribe to our channel if you have not already i'll see you all of you guys in the next video